that in a place like this, on a day like this, with the online audience that we have literally around the world, I know I'm talking to people who have been wounded in horrific ways. I'm not making light of any of it. I know there's incredible pain in some marriages, almost unbelievable. I, I, I've known women, I've worked with women through the years who will have nothing to do with any man because of the way a man treated her somewhere along the way or men who will never trust any woman again because of the way some woman has treated him. Children who carry scars because of the way they were parented and say, okay, well, I'll marry, but I'm never going to have children. I'm not bringing children into this world, so they might have to endure what I endured. Christians who will not darken the doors of a church because of the way they were treated by Christians when they were there or by preachers when they were in proximity to them. I get it. I understand. I mean, they'll say, I'm all for this God thing. Just don't make me go to church. What do you do? When you've been hurt like that, what do you do when the very people you were trying to be in relationship with, to maybe even help, are the ones that betrayed you like Jesus endured? What do you do? You do what Jesus did. Not just because you're required to forgive in order to be forgiven, but because in that process you find healing in your own life. You begin with a prayer. Oh, God, help me to see them the way you see them. Give me your grace so that I can be gracious. Let healing begin and you choose to forgive.